Welcome back. CIA Director John Brennan testifying on Capitol Hill on Thursday, giving what many found to be a discouraging update on the fight against ISIS, saying there is still a long way to go toward victory. ISIL is training and attempting to deploy operatives for further attacks. ISIL has a large cadre of Western fighters who could potentially serve as operatives for attacks in the West. And the group is probably exploring a variety of means for infiltrating operatives the into the West. I want to bring in Republican Senator Jerry Moran from Kansas right now. He's a member of the Banking Committee as well as the Appropriations Subcommittee on State and Foreign Relations. Senator, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Maria, I'm pleased to be back uh, on your program. Uh, happy Father's Day, particularly those military uh, fathers who may not be home this weekend and our law enforcement and uh, first responders. Yeah, I, I uh, second that uh, to, to uh, all the great uh, uh, men and women uh, who are uh, serving our wonderful country. Let me ask you about the, uh, the John Brennan comments last week. A lot of people were taken aback by that. He basically admitted, no, we are nowhere near victory. And in fact, ISIS has gotten stronger. Maria, it was very discouraging, uh, but what I would say is the candor is very pleasing. Uh, we have witnesses in front of committees on a regular basis, uh, particularly administration witnesses seem to speak just uh, as if they're trying to sanitize the information they would want Congress to hear or the American people to see uh, here in the news. Uh, and I appreciate uh, this CIA director, Brennan, uh, really laying it on the line and saying things I think that many of us believed certainly felt, but are, have been rarely said by um, those who work in this administration. We have President Obama who is clearly interested in trying to diminish the, the belief that there is a serious threat, uh, downplaying the circumstances we find ourselves in. And it was very refreshing, though again, very discouraging and disillusioning to hear uh, how little, if any, progress we've made in our battle against terror, particularly as the sec as the uh, CIA director indicated against ISIS. I, I don't understand why, I mean I, I mean, I guess the president wants to be optimistic, but, but why is he trying to show a, you know, a, a good face on ISIS when we know that they've only gotten stronger? And we've watched sympathizers in the United States try to take cues from this terrorist group. Why isn't the president telling us the way it is and, and, and interesting to see John Brennan go against what the president has been trying to sell the American people. Well, we would like to see all witnesses come and tell us their point of view in every congressional hearing and that ought not matter whether you uh, serve in an administration. Uh, I think that, and I, I can't uh, speak for President Obama and his motives, but I, what I would guess, uh, again, just trying to analyze where we are, uh, President Obama ran for office on, uh, for presidency on a couple of occasions in which he was, his goal was to get us out of uh, the role we had been playing in the world to diminish uh, the necessity for America to uh, have military men and women around the world. And ISIS and other terrorist organizations uh, are contrary. The, the need for those, that, that, that military effort, that intelligence right. effort, the idea that the world is safe and secure just doesn't fit with the narrative that we see from these terrorists exactly. uh, on an ongoing basis. Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, we want to ask you about policy and what you think uh, should be done now. But here, here's another soundbite from John Brennan last week when he was asked about the status. Where are we in the fight against ISIS? Listen to this. Unfortunately, despite all our progress against ISIL on the battlefield and in the financial realm, our efforts have not reduced the group's terrorism capability and global reach. What will reduce their capability and global reach, Senator? Well, I mean, I can talk about the mistakes that have been made and they're hard to rectify. Some of those mistakes, again, uh, Iraq, for example, uh, the goal of getting our, our military out of Iraq seemed to me to override the goal of making sure that the success, the circumstances we'd placed Iraq in because of our military sacrifice were not lost by an early departure, a lack of presence by the U.S. and stability, uh, the feckless nature of our policy towards Syria, uh, in which uh, it's hard to determine uh, how anything that we are doing lends, to, lends itself to success there, stability in Syria. Our intrusion into Libya created another environment. Look, I'm just a few miles this morning here in, in, uh, in the neighborhood of Fort Riley. We don't, uh, our, our soldiers here, their families have paid significant sacrifice in multiple deployments. Uh, it, it is not easy that we would ever say that we want to deploy again, although I know our soldiers and their families will respond to right. 
to an order. But this is about putting a policy in, policies in place, a, a State Department diplomacy, mm -hmm. in which our, our friends around the world would once again respect right. us. Uh, and our enemies fear us. And it seems to me we're in the worst possible circumstance now yeah. in which exactly the opposite S is the case. Senator, let me switch gears real quick because I know Janet Yellen is speaking to the Banking Committee next week. She's going to speak to the House uh, on Monday and the Senate on Tuesday in her semi-annual address. The Fed, I guess, can't raise interest rates because the economy is too weak. What are you expecting out of these testimonies next week? Well, I'm always anxious to hear uh, the, the Federal Reserve and their testimony. Uh, I, my, my impression is that uh, the, the conversation will be a lot about interest rates. So that's been a, a significant political topic. But I think what the truth is, the reality is, as we saw from the jobs report for May, is this economy is having a, a very difficult time in its recovery. I know here in Kansas, my conversations, what people are looking for is the belief that their jobs are secure, that uh, they have a chance for increase in their, uh, in their pay, that uh, there may be a better job down the road, that their kids, when they graduate, will right. get it from, from a college, will get a, so a, a job and they can pay back their student loans. And I think the, the fragile, uh, the, how fragile the economy is lends itself to a very uh, a timid kind of policy at the Federal Reserve yeah. in regard to interest rates. Well, I guess we need a rollback in regulation. We absolutely do. I mean, the things that Congress and the president, the administration should be doing that right. would increase the chances of those things happening uh, are the opposite of what generally is happening. And that has to do with a yeah. convoluted tax code. It has to do Senator, with the regulatory environment. It has you. to do with the debt. Senator, thank now, you so 